Greetings and salutations from Lone Wolf Custom Painting. Yes, it's been a while. Um, not going into great detail on this, but uh, oh, about a month and a half ago, I fell out of bed not once but twice. Um, the blonde loaded me into the uh, truck and away I went to St. Margaret's. They did some tests and then they trundled me off in an ambulance to uh, Shadyside Hospital and bright and early the next morning at six o'clock in the morning on Sunday they performed the major um, brain surgery. I have brain cancer. Um, they got it and they got it all. That's the doctor's quote. Um, right now I am in the midst of radiation and chemotherapy. Um, it's not as pronounced or as bad as what it can be. God bless anybody else that's got this. But uh, thus far, we're coming back um, full, full bore. And uh, we're just going to go with this from there. And I apologize, but, you know, kind of a private thing. And uh, I didn't want to upset the family or anybody else. So this is where we sit. Now, this is the first time back, and I am going to run it down. This is going to be on faded paint. Um, an individual uh, contacted me eh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a bit longer, um, and he said, uh, I recently retired a few months ago. And he said, I was looking for something to do. <laughs> Imagine this. And he came across um, the YouTube, and he always had a love for model cars, which he built when he was a kid. And then, you know, the life gets in the way, right? You know, girls, um, faster cars, you know, etc. right? So this all went by the wayside for him. So recently retired, he decided that he wanted to go back into model cars. So he found our web channel and uh, he immediately bought the DVDs and he said he ate them all. And then with some of the videos that we do um, it rang a bell with him so he goes back to mom and dad's place and he finds uh, quite a few of his old builds so that's what this one's about this one's about faded paint so there are several ways of going about this I always go for the the lighter and then we'll go into the the more detailed stuff that you can get into with this so the very first thing that I would suggest you do is get yourself a nice container and um, some warm water, good old original Dawn, with a soft toothbrush, okay? Take it over to the stationary tubs and uh, under warm running water and then you just go over top of it just wash the whole thing okay um, actually you know we'll do a little bit do we have enough room to do this absolutely he says so I'll give you an idea of what you know this entails now this is the very beginning of it you want to start off at the, the least invasive thing that you can run into with this. A lot of times you'd be surprised how something as simple as a nice warm bath will restore. And this way you wash the whole thing, everything about this. Then what I want you to do, I want you to rinse it thoroughly, okay? And then you take it, you set it 100 PSI with air pressure and just dry it this way. And that'll give you an idea where you're at. Now, like I said, we're going to start with this, okay? This thing's been sitting here for a couple years. Um, is it in pretty good shape? Yeah, and we're going to expound upon that a little bit in a minute. So, we're going over here, and we'll see what we can do. Alright, got ourselves some warm running water. You got this. Take it over. Mm. 
Now, full build the same way, or is this just for the painting? Oh, body? this is pretty much would be a full build kit. Yeah, okay. the only thing is, is it doesn't have the the glass in the front or the back, but it still has the, the okay. side glass. And if you had like the whole thing built chassis, yeah, still the I, you same just process. wash the whole thing off okay. because it gives you some idea as to where you're going to be. Right. You know, you have to have a starting point. Now, I'm not going to go out in the airbrush room and fire up the, but we're just going to think this along as we go. Okay. So this is all dried off. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to go into a little bit of the novice too, okay? And this stuff, bar none, this will save you a tremendous amount of time and effort and heartache. Now this, as I think I said earlier, it's probably, I don't know, seven, eight years old, and it's been sitting for a long time. But the fact that you put enough coats on this, both paint and clear-wise, this will restore it. And that's why I love this stuff like I do. There you go, boys and girls. You got to put enough paint on it, and you got to put enough clear on it to give yourself a buffer zone in case something like this happens. All right, until the next time, and we will see you next Friday, and we're going to expand upon this a little bit more. So, um, it is that time of year. So. Merry Christmas to you and yours. God bless you all. I hope you have a wonderful Christmas and a very, very happy new year with many good things to come. So from Jake and I from Lone with Custom Painting and the Blonde, God bless. We'll see you next Friday.